not sleeping well, feeling restless, I've got a short self-massage practice to help you calm the mind and clear the heart. I'm Kristen. Welcome to the Seer Wellbeing Channel. I'm your energy wizard, inspiring and enabling you to sense, engage, and express more energy and joy in your life with Qigong and self-care practices. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so that you can enjoy a new practice each week or every day to harmonize your energy. Okay, if you've watched some of my other sleep practices, you've heard me say that the heart rules sleep. And so this self-massage practice is going to focus on harmonizing the flow of energy in the heart river or meridian, heart line, and the pericardium, which is the protector of the heart. That's as much knowledge as I'll give you for now. <laughs> All right, so the first point is an interesting one. Um, this is heart one. And if you raise your arm out to the side, your uh, right arm out to the side, and you take your left thumb and place it right into your armpit, central part of your armpit, that's the first point on the heart meridian. You can lower your arm and begin to make some circles. So this heart one point is helpful in addressing anxiety, mental restlessness, night sweats, insomnia. Not only will this practice help you with your sleep, it can also help with some agitated emotions. You can choose to stick with circles, and you notice my arm is actually <laughs> circling as I'm doing this, or you can press and release. Press and release. There's a few different approaches we can use with acupressure. That can be the circles, press and release, or press and hold. If you are holding, don't hold your breath. It's a nice, smooth, soothing flow of breath. You can stick with any one of these points as long as you would like, but I want to give you a shorter practice today so that you can hopefully calm the emotions at a fairly swift pace, without intensity, a swift pace and get back to sleep. All right, same thing on the other side, left arm out to your side, thumb comes right in the middle. And since we don't have needles, you don't have to be extremely precise about it. Getting in the general area will offer very calming benefit to the mind, clearing agitation from the heart. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see that arm just naturally flowing. <laughs> All right, next point on the heart line is heart three. So it's on the inner elbow on the pinky side. So on the pinky side of the elbow, you bring the thumb right kind of just in front front of the ulna bone, one of your elbow bones. Again, beginning to make some circles, soft, smooth breath. If you do want to exhale and purge some energy, you can exhale through the mouth. So inhale through your nose, soft exhale through the mouth. You'll probably find some tender spots here. These acupressure points are like light swishes and they carry a lot of energy. And when you feel, um, you know, some stimulation or some intensity, I was just showing you there's some blockage there. So again, you can press and release or press and hold or circle. Options are, up to, are all on the table. Let's go to the other side. Again, a lot of the points on the, on the heart meridian are, are addressing this, this mental restlessness, this excess heat um, in, in the heart, if you will, um, and calming the mind. So now on the inside of my left arm, making gentle circles. Breath choice is inhale through the mouth, excuse me, inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose or gentle exhale through the mouth. Be an experimenter. Okay, and the next point on the heart meridian is heart seven. So if you draw a line up from your pinky finger to your wrist bone, really it's more your 
that same elbow bone, your ulna, and there's a little divot between where your wrist begins and that bone, the ulna, ends. That's heart seven. So again, making some circles there. This nourishes the heart, flow of energy through the heart. Gentle circles, press and release, or press and hold. Might get a question of how long should you do this? Let's switch arms. Give it a go for 10 seconds at each point, and then if you wanna try a little longer, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, pick one point. Don't feel you have to obligate yourself to do every single point. And you may experiment and find that one point feels more calming than the other. If you do encounter some sensitivity, know that that is normal. But if it's to the point where your pressure is too much, you're the one pressing on your body. Ease up. All right. And I did mention the other organ system that plays into harmonizing the energy in the heart, and that's the pericardium. The pericardium is actually the, the sac that comes around the heart that protects the heart. So it's the, called the heart protector in Chinese medicine. If it weren't for the pericardium, we would all be dead because our heart would overheat, and especially with today's <laughs> level of anxiety and intensity. Um, I'd hate to say we'd have short lifetimes. So let's take care of the heart protector. We'll go back onto the right arm and take about three fingers up from the base of the wrist and then go ahead and place your thumb where that third finger was. This is pericardium six. So we're gonna make some circles, press and release or press and hold. Let's, let's allow the breath now to come in and out through the nose as we begin to move towards the end of the practice and calming the mind, clearing the heart. This point is actually also good for memory and motion sickness. I used to get motion sickness a lot as a kid. Um, wish I would have known about this point. <laughs> Always had it right in the front seat. All right, and now let's take and press down to the base of the wrist and then into the center of the palm and specifically between the second and third fingers or your index and middle finger and make a circle there this is pericardium eight or laogong point helps relieve fear and agitation and ironically it also restores consciousness <laughs> but don't be worried about feeling like this is going to wake you up in the middle of the night and let's do that again. Press down and circle. And the thing is, if we're gonna break patterns, we have to be willing to experiment with new patterns. And if your pattern is not sleeping, what you're doing currently is not working. <laughs> so, and not working all the time. And not to say this will, this isn't the panacea. Let's go to the other side. So pericardium six, three fingers up from the base of the wrist. Begin with some circles there. Why not try? Instead of popping the pill, why not try? Okay. Press down to the center of the palm between the second and third finger or the index finger and the more accurately index finger and the middle finger. Circles there. Tenderness, be mindful. And let's do that again. circle and then just allow the hands to release at your side close your eyes bring one hand over the belly and the other hand on top of that hand take a few deep belly breaths calm mind your heart. Comforted body. Ah. So I have a question. Curious minds want to know, what practices have you tried that have been successful in helping you fall back asleep? Comment below. And if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing so that you can harmonize the flow of energy in your day, in your life. Me and your chi will thank you. Be well.